Hi, and welcome to the second video part of this series where we're building a filtering form with Django. In this one, we're going to get started with creating the model that will house all of the data that we're going to be filtering. And if you'd like to follow along, you can just go to our DJ filter repository on GitHub. You can clone this and reset back to any point in the code, which we'll reference here in this readme file that you'll know which commits refer to which videos in the YouTube series. And so once you've got everything in your editor, then let's get started. So I'm inside the source folder. And if I list everything out, you can see all of the files inside there. And we're going to get started by creating our first app, which you can do by calling Python manage.py start app. And we're going to call ours core. And this is most likely because it's going to be the only app that we're going to need to work with. The name core allows you to actually use a couple other things such as management commands, which are quite handy. So it's good to just start off with this core app. And we're going to go and jump into the models.py. And so the concept here is that we're going to work with a journal kind of system where you could view journals as articles that are written and stored in some kind of database. And if you need to research some kind of topic, then you would go and sort through those journals by filtering them based on specific characteristics or features that you're looking at. And so we're going to try and add as many fields to the model here that represent some common fields that you would use in your own models. So you can see how you can filter those. And so we'll start by creating our class, which we'll call a journal. And it's going to come from models.model. And the first field that we're going to give this journal is a title. And this is simply just going to be a character field, which we've seen before. And we have to pass in the maximum length into this. So we'll just say 120, for example. And then we're going to go ahead and create some other fields. We'll have one such as the author, which will reference with a foreign key to its own model. We'll also create a category or list of categories like this, which will be a many to many field. We'll create a publish date, which will be a date time field. We'll have a view count, which we could just store as views. And we could then have a reviewed, which will be a Boolean field, which you could view as maybe the administrator of the website needs to review articles to see if they're actually legit or not. But again, this is just an example. So let's go and create those models that we need. The first one will be the author. So we'll say class author, which comes from models.model. And we're just going to give the author a name. We're not going to associate it with a user as well because this just makes it easier when creating the data that we don't need to go and create extra models as well. So this name is going to be a character field as well. And we'll set the maximum length to be, let's say 30. And that should be good. So we'll just say define string of self. And we're just going to say that it returns self dot name. And then here in the journal, we'll say that this equals to models dot foreign key. And this is going to take in the author as its foreign key. And we'll say that on delete equals to models dot cascade. Then we can go and create our category, which we'll do here as well. So we'll say class category, which comes from models dot model. And we're also just going to give this category a name, which will be the same thing. It's going to be a character field. And we'll also just give it a length of 20. And we can just copy that method there as well. And then we'll just copy this as well, except it's not going to be a foreign key. This is going to be a many to many field. And so we're going to take the category and put it there. And then we can add the publish date, which will be a date time field. And we're going to add the auto now add equal to true, which basically means that every time we create a journal, the publish date is added by default as the time at that moment. And then the views is going to be an integer field. And we're just going to set the default as zero. And then reviewed is going to be a Boolean field, which will say models dot Boolean field. And we'll say that default equals to false as well. So by default, it has not been reviewed. And then we can just copy one of these methods here. And we'll say that it returns self.title. 
Cool, so that is our model. Now we can just go and add this to our DJ filter settings. So if we scroll all the way to the top to our installed apps, we then need to add this in here. And now we can make migrations for that. So we'll say manage.py make migrations. And okay, we're getting this unexpected argument and that's correct because we don't need that for the many to many field and just make migrations again. And there we can see we've created those three models. Now we can say manage.py migrate. And so now we have our models. In the next one, we're going to start by creating a view that can just list out the entries that we have. And so before we end this video, what I'm just going to do is import this into the admin. So we'll say from dot models, import the author, the category and the journal. And we'll say admin dot site dot register author and we'll also register category and journal and then we'll also create a super user so we'll say python manage.py create super user and i'm going to make the username admin i'll leave the email blank and i'll add a password as well and now if we try and run the server and we just take a look here we can also go and log into the admin and there we can see our three models. Cool. So this is all for this video. In the next one, we're going to get started with creating a view that can actually list out our journal entries. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.